वेलकम टू ए सी एफ द ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर गेट एग्रीकल्चर इंजीनियरिंग एंड दिस इज ऑल अबाउट मी एंड फ्रेंड्स इन इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द बेसिक्स ऑफ साइकोमेट्री मीन्स वी आर डीलिंग विथ ह्यूमिडिटी एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द ह्यूमिडिटी एंड सो बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आई विल सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच दैट वीडियो and friends today we are going to study the enthalpy friends i think all of you have studied little bit regarding enthalpy and you have little bit idea that enthalpy is norm generally it is our energy means the in, amount of energy present in a substance whether the substance is air or a solid body or water or water vapor or air water vapor mixture means friends here we are mostly talking about the moist air means the mixture of air and water vapor means hamara jo air and water vapor ka mixture hai usme how much amount of energy present hai use apan enthalpy mein samajhte hain and friends for calculating the enthalpy we normally have to consider some reference energy with respect to which and some reference temperature with respect to which we will calculate our enthalpy and friends generally at 0 degree centigrade the enthalpy of dry air is considered to be zero and at 0 degree centigrade the enthalpy of water vapor is also considered to be zero means 0 degree temperature pe 0 degree celsius pe hamara water vapor and dry air ki enthalpy we will consider it as zero means that is our reference enthalpy and with respect to this reference enthalpy we will calculate the further enthalpy values and entropy and different different terms we will cal calculate you will see it in further slides so friends enthalpy of moist air is h is equal to enthalpy of dry air plus enthalpy of water vapor friends suppose we have some moist air then if anyone is asking what is the enthalpy of this moist air then what we will say we will say that it is moist air is a mixture of both water vapor and dry air and that's why we will add the enthalpy of both dry air and water vapor and friends the enthalpy of dry air is cp into t where cp is the specific heat of dry air friends i think all of you have studied regarding the specific heat if you have not studied then you can watch my previous lectures a specific heat is simply amount of energy needed required to raise the temperature by 1 degree centigrade of 1 1 kg of substance it is the energy to raise the temperature by 1 degree centigrade of 1 kg substance so friends all of you can write that enthalpy of dry air is equal to cp into t so where t is the temperature in celsius friends you should remember that here the temperature we are using in enthalpy that should be in celsius means degree celsius not in kelvin so you should remember it clearly that here we are using the temperature in celsius why i am focusing more on upon the temperature because in our further lectures we see that somewhere we are considering the temperatures in kelvin but here in case of enthalpy we are considering the temperature in degree celsius plus w into hfg plus cp w into t friends this is total is the enthalpy of moist air because all of you know that moist air cons contains moist means air plus water so friends the where w is the humidity ratio means what is the kg of water vapor present per kg of dry air and hfg is friends hfg is enthalpy of latent heat of vaporization i think all of you know that latent heat of vaporization is the amount of heat required to change the state of substance means change the state of water to vapor and cpw 
is simply the specific heat of water vapor and T is also the temperature of air vapor mixture that is in degree Celsius and friends when we are putting the values when we are putting the values of CP HFG and CPW then we will get our equation as H is equal to 1.005 T plus W into 2501 plus 1.88 T and friends here remember that the unit of enthalpy is kilojoule per kg means our unit jo hoga enthalpy ka wo kilojoule per kg hoga and so friends you see that in the downside i have written the final equation and friends many years in the question the final equation is given but many year in the question they are simply not given the value of c CP, CP, W, HFG values they are not given. So you should remember both these equations. Either the questions will come, you can easily solve. Now friends, see the humid specific heat. Friends, you see here, here we are talking about the enthalpy. But friends, now we are talking about the humid specific heat. Friends, humid specific heat is simply the specific heat of humid air. Means our humid air hai, because you know that humid air is the mixture of both dry air plus water vapor. So for, for simplicity you see that suppose anyone is asking that tell me the specific heat of water then you can simply tell that 4.184 but when anyone is asking about the specific heat of air then you can simply tell the particular value that is equivalent to 1. But when someone is asking, tell the specific heat of humid air, means both the mixture of air and water vapor, which means dono ka mixture banta hai, then what is the specific heat? Then for that you should calculate CPM is equal to CP plus W into CPW, where CPM is the humid heat, humid specific heat, CP is the specific heat of dry air and CPW is the spe specific heat of water vapor and W is the humidity ratio. Friends, you see that we are simply adding both the specific heats of dry air plus specific heat of water vapor. That is, that will give us the humid specific heat. Now friends, see that humid volume. Friends, humid volume of a air air water vapor mixture is the total volume of 1 kg of dry air plus water vapor it contains at 1 atmosphere means 101.325 kilopascal at absolute temperature friends humid heat is jo amara hota hai wo hota hai total volume of 1 kg of dry air plus the volume of water vapor present in that mixture at the temperature of at a particular temperature and a pressure of 101.325 this is our humid volume and friends there are two formulas are there both formulas will give the same value one i have written in terms of fraction another one is i have written in terms of decimal so you see that VH is equal to means humid volume is equal to 22.4 divided by 273 into 1 by 29 plus H by 18 into T. Friends, either you can remember this formula, otherwise you can remember VH is equal to 0 0.00283 plus 0 0.00456H into T. Friends, you see that whatever the formulas comfortable to you you can remember formula according to your comfortability and friends you clearly see here that the temperature t we are using here that is the dry bulb temperature and that is in kelvin friends remember that many times in question they will give wet bulb temperature and dry bulb temperature both they will give to confuse you so you have to be conscious and you have to take care that we have to consider a dry bulb temperature for calculating the humid volume and also that temperature should be in Kelvin. Aapko ye cheez yaad rakhni hai because in question they want to check your knowledge and so that they can twist the questions. 
and friends one more thing you see here that the hum the humid volume we will write in terms of meter cube its unit is meter cube friends you see that here we have taken the temperature in terms of kelvin for humid volume but for enthalpy we have taken the temperature in degree celsius and also for and but for humid volume it should be in kelvin so you should take care about this now friends you see another term that is wet bulb temperature friends this is measured by the help of thermometer thermometer wick covered with a liquid water in contact with moving air means wet bulb temperature we will measure with help of thermometer which is in contact with the moving air and the equation for calculating the wet bulb temperature is h minus h w divided by t minus t w is equal to minus c s by lambda w friends you can clearly see here that h is the small h is the heat transfer coefficient lambda w is the latent heat of vaporization at well wet bulb temperature you should clearly remember that latent heat of vaporization at the wet bulb temperature because many times in the question they have given the latent heat at both wet bulb temperature and dry bulb temperature there we have to be careful that we have to consider the wet bulb latent heat at wet, wet bulb temperature only and ma is the molecular weight of air ky is the mass transfer coefficient i think all of you have studied regarding the mass transfer coefficient in my previous lectures so you can take care of mass transfer coefficient t is the dry bulb temperature and tw is the wet bulb temperature so this is all about the this equation you have to remember this equation friends this equation is simply the energy balance equation you see that h minus h w into lambda when we are doing the cross multiplication we can get h minus h w into lambda w is equal to minus c s into t minus t w that is simply we are balancing the energy means energy of both humid air is equal to energy energy of energy generated in the thermometer due to temperature difference so from there this equation is derived so you should i will suggest you to either memorize this equation otherwise understand this equation also you can derive in the examination hall but it's better to remember the equation now friends see another term that is lewis number friends lewis number is simply the ratio of schmidt number and prandtl number i think all of you have studied in the previous lecture regarding the schmidt number and prandtl number and lewis number if we write in in terms of simple means simple values then you can write it as the ratio of thermal diffusivity to molecular diffusivity so h by kcp where h is the convective heat transfer coefficient k is the mass transfer coefficient cp is the specific heat of moist air and friends for air water vapor mixture the lewis number is equal to 1 now friends this is very important and this this if you understand this it is very easy also if you understand it then you can easily able to tackle the very very tough questions so you should understand it very carefully friends here we are talking about the mixing of mixing process of two streams of air suppose we have two air streams at mass flow rate mo a1 and ma2 and both streams are mixed initially the temperature of both streams are t1 and t2 and the humidity ratios are h1 and h2 and both streams are mixed 
to get a common flow rate that is MA3 at a temperature T3 and humidity ratio H3 means दो हमारे पास एयर की स्ट्रीम थी एम ए वन एंड एम ए टू दोनों को मिक्स कर देते हैं तो हमारा एक नया बनता है वो एम ए थ्री बनेगा फ्रेंड्स वेन आवर न्यू एयर स्ट्रीम इज फॉर्म देन द टेम्परेचर चेंजेस ह्यूमिडिटी चेंजेस एंड मास फ्लोरेट चेंजेस दिस ऑल थिंग्स चेंजेस बट फ्रेंड्स वन थिंग इज कॉमन इन ऑल दिस दैट द बैलेंस ऑफ मास द मास इज कंजर्व द Energy is conserved means enthalpy is conserved and the temperature into mass ratio is also conserved means whatever the initial amount of flow rate present is equal to the final amount of flow rate simply you can in easy language you understand that we are giving two mass flow rates of air air streams suppose one is two two meter cube per second another one is 3 meter cube per second per second so the final suppose both are mixed then what is going to be the final air stream the final air stream is going to be the 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 meter cube per second so friends this is the logic that the initial is equal to the final means sum of initial terms is equal to the final terms so here whatever i have written you see that Initially, I have balanced the mass. That is, M A one plus M A two is equal to M A three. After that, I have balanced the enthalpy. M A one H one plus M A two H two is equal to M A three H three. And after that, I have balanced the friends here by mistake. I have written M A one H capital H one plus M A two capital H two is equal to M A three capital H three. You can write it in terms of temperature also. M A one T one plus M A two T two is equal to M A T three T three. I have not written about the temperature here, but you can easily write and you can easily understand. Friends, temperature is also balanced here. Means, जो हमारा temperature होता है, वो भी initial mass flow rate into temperature. का जो सम होता है वो फाइनल हमारे मास फ्लो रेट इनटू टेम्परेचर के सम के बराबर होता है सो so, आप यहाँ पे टेम्परेचर भी बैलेंस कर सकते हो ये बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट है हमारे गेट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से एंड यू कांट लीव दिस पोर्शन सो यू शुड क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म्स नाउ फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द थ्यूरी नाउ यू कम टू द क्वेश्चन यू सी द क्वेश्चन हेयर इट इज सींग दैट इज यूम डेट 2500 kilojoule of heat energy is required to convert 1 kg of water to vapor means our 2500 is the latent heat and assume that a specific heat of water a specific heat of water vapor and air remains constant that is 4.18 1.88 and 1 respectively at a temperature ranging from 0 to 50 degree and estimate the enthalpy of the mixture having humidity of 0.02 friends this is the formula for enthalpy i have told you enthalpy is equal to enthalpy of moist air is equal to enthalpy of both dry air plus enthalpy of water vapor mixture so here we have two equation that is h is equal to cp into t plus w into h f g plus c p w into t and another one is h is equal to 1.005 t plus w into 2501 plus 1.88 t so you can write any one of the equation friends here in this equation the values the values of all c p lambda and every all values are given so friends first of all you should see that c p a means c p a is the specific heat of एयर मीन्स हमारा जो एयर का ड्राई एयर का स्पेसिफिक हीट होता है दैट इज सी पी ए एंड प्लस सी पी वी इन टू एच मीन्स सी पी वी इज द स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ वाटर वेपर एंड एच इज द ह्यूमिडिटी दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू टू एंड स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ वाटर वेपर इज वन पॉइंट एट एट एंड इन टू टी मीन्स फ्रेंड्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू डेट फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द इंथेल्पी वी शुड consider the temperature in terms of degree celsius and for calculating the humid volume we should consider the temperature in terms of kelvin 
so here we are calculating the enthalpy so our temperature should be in degree celsius that is 50 degree celsius and plus lambda naught into h where h is 0 0.02 and lambda naught is the latent heat of vaporization that is 2500 kilojoule and you put all these values you can get your enthalpy in kilojoule per kg of dry air that is 101.88 so friends this is all about this lecture and uh, please subscribe our channel and share to all the great parents and in our next lecture we are mostly going to solve the whatever the previous year questions asked in the gate examination we will solve each and every question very conceptually so thank you that's all